Hello. The Trinity and Anjou Sunday Schools proudly present Live from Bethlehem. Bethlehem. And I'm Janelle from Jericho. We're broadcasting live from Bethlehem. Today we will be operating in HD, Holy Divinity, to bring you the 2020 Christmas pageant. We turn out to our reporter in the hillsides of Judea, Candace, who is live on scene. Candace? Hello, I'm live with Elizabeth in the countryside of Judea. Elizabeth, can you tell us what happened? Of course. One day, my husband Zachariah came home from serving in the temple and couldn't speak. Not a word. I thought, what's up with that? Eventually, he made me understand that he had seen a vision. An angel had appeared to him with a message from God. And what was that message? That I would bear a son and call him John. But why couldn't Zachariah speak? Because the angel had made him speechless since he did not believe the angel's words. You see... We had tried for so many years to have children, but I was barren, so we had to give up hope. Zakaria just couldn't believe that I was actually pregnant after all these years. Well, there you have it. One miracle of a pregnancy. Sarah and Janelle, back to you. Thank you, Candice. News of a second miraculous pregnancy, this time coming from the little village of Nazareth. We go now to a reporter, Nora, who is live from Nazareth. We are live in the little village of Nazareth and have just managed to catch up with Mary, who claims to be pregnant with the Holy Spirit. Mary, can you tell us what happened? Well, I was sitting at home doing my evening chores when an angel appeared and told me not to be afraid. The angel said that I was pregnant and that the child was the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit? That's what I said, but the angel assured me that it was true. Well, what did your soon-to-be husband have to say about that? Joseph was not as happy as I hoped, but he changed his mind after an angel visited him too. The angel told him to keep with our wedding plans, so we are still engaged to be married. I couldn't be happier. Well, there you have it, folks. Visits from angels and pregnancy by the Holy Spirit. Back to you. Oh, hi. Are you tired of cleaning up after all? your lifestyle well here it is the magic shovel notice this metal scoop now you won't lose any of that unwanted stuff that they produce it can be yours for the low price of three pieces of silver yes only three pieces of silver and if you order it right now it comes with a free gift the magic bucket this way you can, you can do twice of the amount of work in less time that's right a magic shovel and a magic bucket all for the low price of three pieces of silver order yours today Children, do you love driving your parents crazy with loud, annoying instruments like the trombones or the drums? Or maybe you just have a tambourine? <laughs> now you can stop driving your parents crazy with overpriced, seldom played right instruments. Now you can do it with this, just rush trumpets. Do this for seven days and you're guaranteed that your parents will scream until the walls come crashing down. And now, and you'll receive a free instructional video for Joshua's Jumping Jericho Dive, only for while supplies last. Welcome back in other news tonight, chaos in small areas around Bethlehem. You may recall that we have been following the story of San Caesar Augustus has issued a decree that a census will take place of the entire Roman world. Everyone has to go to his hometown to register, which is causing mayhem just outside of Bethlehem. With more on this go story, we go to Faith on location on the hillsides of Bethlehem. Thank you, Sarah. I am hearing the youth of Bethlehem to talk to the shepherds about what this census means to them. Excuse me, have you been to your hometown to take part in the census? Yes, I have. I have to. I have to. My own time is full. What do you think of the massive amount of people who are now coming to the city? 
The sheep were very nervous without these peop new people. It's been hard to keep all of our sheep together. All these people keep showing up. I see. Will you be happy when the census is over? Yes, at least. Then we will know where all our sheep are. And I'll are. be able to get back having a peaceful night. Having a peaceful night. Thank you to you both, Sarah and Janelle. Back, I, back to you at the station. We now have reports coming in saying that the sheep are not the only ones to be disturbed by the number of people crowding into the rural town of Bethlehem. Our sources tell us that there are hardly any rooms left in in the whole town. With more on this, we go lie to Ellie, who is standing by. Ellie? Yes. Hello. I am live in the little town of Bethlehem, and it is simply packed with people. I can't imagine how a new arrival to this town could get a place to stay. I caught up with a local innkeeper to see what she has to say about it. Hello, can you tell me, please, how is the situation at your inn? We're all full, I tell you, all full. The census has brought too many people into our town. Well, where are the people going to stay? I have no idea. Some will stay with their extended families, some are sleeping on the floor of homes, and some I don't know. Thank you for your time. It looks like Bethlehem is all full up. I would hate to be a visitor seeking a room tonight. Sarah and Janelle, back to you. In other news tonight, Aaron of Jerusalem reports that he was walking home from work the other night when he was... He will interrupt this newscast for some breaking news. Glory to God in the highest! Glory to God in the highest! Glory to God in the highest. 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 Glory to God. Am I hallucinating? Are you seeing this? Can you believe it? There are angels here. I was talking with the shepherds when suddenly the sky appeared with the angels singing praises to God. Wait, one of them is saying something. It appears to be the head angel or something of the sort. Let's listen to what he is saying. Fear not, for unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior who is Christ the Lord, and this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the baby wrapped in a swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. What? The city of David? Well, that's right here in Bethlehem. This angel just said that a savior will be born here tonight and we will find him lying in a feeding trough. That's just crazy. Go tell on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is Lord. Go, go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is Lord. I think our story has changed direction. This is much bigger than the census. Back to you, Janelle and Sarah. Thank you, Nora. We'll be right back with more exciting news about the Savior's birth after this brief message. While shepherds watched their songs by night, all gathered through the lake, they found a rock to be them one, and they were clean again. They used a servant's mound and pure, just like the sheep they keep. If you want your socks white and clean, be sure to use Starbeam. Starbeam laundry detergent, only sold at Noah's. Have you ever wanted to catch that big one but can never be in the right spot at the right time? Do you move from your fishing spot, then the next person who fishes there makes the catch of the day? Well, fear no more. Jonas Deep Sea Fishing is here. We know just where the largest fish is. 
we guarantee you will catch a fish, or at least the fish will catch you. No fish, no pay is our motto. Stop in and fish with us. Join us deep sea fishing, now located in Nineveh. Joining our broadcast, we are following a breaking story that is happening in Bethlehem tonight. Every of the masters, one of our reporters, was out in the fields talking to some shepherds, and something miraculous has happened. Angels from heaven appeared in the sky for a time of the birth of the Messiah. And when was the last time you saw an angel? This is groundbreaking news. That's right, Sarah. For more on the study of this subject, we are joined by Haggai of Bethel, an expert in the study of scriptures. Haggai, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. So what have you found in the scriptures? For one, the book of Micah says, Bethlehem, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from old ancient times. That's pretty amazing. Do you know of any other scripture that will support that this child is the Christ child? Yes, in Deuteronomy. Moses was telling the Israelites that the Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me among the Israelites. So you think that the scripture is saying that the child will be a prophet? If you believe in the scripture, then yes, this child is the one we have been waiting for. He is the Messiah. That's amazing news. Thank you, Haggai, for joining us today. My pleasure. Thank you for having me again. Are you looking for a holiday album that will fill your Christmas time with lots and lots of cheer? Well, listen to this album and you're going to be sure to have a very jolly Christmas. Featuring classics such as O Come All Ye Faithful. O come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Come and Angels from the realms of glory. Of glory. Wing your flight, O Never not nature see, silver bells, and never not nature see, and never never nature and so many more. So what are you waiting for? Call the number right down below, and we'll send you your very own copy of this holiday album. Merry Christmas to you and your family. following some amazing breaking news. Angels have been observed in the sky outside the town of Bethlehem, foretelling the birth of its Savior to be born in that town tonight. Our spiritual experts tell us this indeed is the real thing. A prophet has been foretold in the scriptures. Apparently the prophet will be a baby and will be brought, wrapped in swelling cloth and laid in the manger. Now we go to our field reporter, Ellie, who has found a young couple finding refuge in a stable. Ellie? Good evening, and welcome to the most spectacular event in history. The Christ child has just been born here, in the city of Bethlehem. Amazingly, this child has been born to Mary and Joseph of Nazareth, whom I managed to find tucked away in this simple stable behind me. Mary has just given birth to the baby, birth to the baby with Joseph by her side. The baby is a healthy little boy, and both the baby and the mother are well. Have you been told what the name is? Yes. Mary tells us the baby's name is Jesus. Jesus, a lovely name. What is the feeling there on the ground? It's difficult to describe, Sarah. The town which was all a bustle only a few hours ago has gone quiet. 
but I feel a sense of peace and joy just standing here outside of the stable. Do you think people are aware of the presence of this holy couple and the miracle that has happened tonight? I don't think most people are aware of the events yet, unless, of course, they are watching this broadcast. I did see some shepherds come in from the hillside of Bethlehem. I spoke to them earlier, and they told me they had witnessed the angels and came right to see the baby for themselves. Thank you, Ellie. Please keep us up to date as evening events unfolds. And, and that concludes our evening news broadcast. Stay tuned for more breaking news as the world finds out about the birth of our Savior, Jesus. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Janelle. And I'm Sarah. Good night. Good night. Anytime you're ready, go ahead. Hello, I'm Lev. Maybe we should start with Angel. Saku, which one should I choose? Saku, which one should I choose? Saku, which one should I choose? Should I choose this? Okay, I'm um, going to six. That's me, please. No, no. No. Okay. That's me for fetch on you. Sorry, ma. It's not working the way it worked before. Hang on. There's so many buttons at the top. Do we be on mute? Yes, you should all be on mute. I'm really you button. Get it you know, you're off screen. Are we filming one at a time or all together? All together. Wait, Cherry? You're muted. Yes, I know I'm muted because we're all supposed to are be you, muted. Yes? Are you going to play like the song when it's going? We're going to do the exact same thing we just did three minutes ago. Yeah, but is there going to be the song with it? Yeah, like we just did three minutes ago. The exact same thing. Like the song's going to play and we're just going to mouth the words to it. Just like we did. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs>